it's weird. It's weird to have a new last name. I never know who they're talking to at church. I'm like Sister Adams. Sister Adams, and I'm like, Sister Adams, what are you doing? Are you on your phone? Oh, you're talking to me! Oh. So I dated uh, my ex-husband for a really long time. I had seen my sister go through a divorce. I was so freaked out of marriage, and I, I just wanted to make sure that I was doing everything right. So we dated for years. And so once we got married, I was like, I'm not getting any younger, you know, let's have a baby and I felt really strongly about that. I had this expectation based on you know knowing this person the way that I did that it would be a certain way and it was so hard. So three, uh, three and a half years after we were married um, we separated and then it was uh, several months after that that we decided to divorce. What I would love to be able to tell you is that during my divorce you know, I never felt closer to the Spirit. God was walking with me and I felt super close to Him. I didn't feel like that. I felt very alone. If God knew that this was going to happen, why did I have these impressions to have a child? And I didn't get married and have a baby so that I could be a single mom. The thing that I hear most often that I connect with so deeply is that God knew I would need a reason to like get out of bed, you know? And she was very literally like there at five in the morning, like <laughs> needing me to get out of bed. There are reasons for the silences, right? And sometimes it's stuff that we're doing or we're not doing that needs to change. And sometimes it's just that God is quiet. He's preparing you for some other thing. I don't think that I would have been <laughs> brave enough or crazy enough, whatever you want to say, to like jump back into marriage. I had intentionally avoided dating widowers. And that's because when I lost my mom, it was so unbelievably hard for me when my dad started dating. So when John messaged me, he had seen Lead Kindly Light, heard that, and that song meant a lot to him when his wife uh, was very briefly sick before she passed away. And then after her passing, it meant a lot to him. We started talking and it took me like a whole day before I realized, like it's like nonstop, just back and forth. And he's so easy to talk to and he's so charming and funny. And it's just, I mean, easy is the word. And he asked me out and I was like, no. I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> I'm like, glad with you, like, no. But instead I was like, okay. It was the kind of first date that when people tell me about, I'm like, you're so full of it. Like that's not real. What you're telling me is not true. And it was so great. And by the end of it, he was like, what are you doing tomorrow night? And I was like, I have a date. And he was like, cancel it. I don't believe in this. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't believe this kind of story. I don't think it's wise to date quickly. I have a very hard and fast date for a year rule. All of my rules were broken. I seriously hear stories like this and I'm like, you're all insane. All of you are crazy, but we're the same kind of crazy and it is like magical. We had only been dating for a few weeks. John's first wife, her mother, she gave him uh, this clock and it's the president, it's a quote from President Nelson that says, trust in the Lord means trust in his timing. I've always felt like that means wait, 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 wait. It's all about patience and you just endlessly long suffering through it. For the first time, it had struck me that sometimes like the answer is move. Again, right? We're talking about God being quiet for so long. Like sometimes the answer is now go trust that quiet space that I was in for so, so long, being willing to listen to God, that's how, that's how the calm came, that's how the peace came. Things that are different in my life, a nine-year-old, two six-year-olds, a five-year-old, a two-year-old, and then an almost here-year-old, because we're insane. I'm starting to see a real pattern in the way that God deals with me in my life, and so, if God continues to work with me the way that he has in the past, then I'm gonna head into a space where I am wandering and I wanna be able to remember
what this feels like so that as I'm waiting, even if it takes a long, long time, I can hold on until I reach that next point, you know? And it's like, okay, okay, I'm good. 